So as it appears, adding a near me search um, to your search term, to your brand name is not gonna work anymore. Um, and here's why. Um, I recently did a bit of research and I figured out that Google is no longer ranking um, businesses with the near me prefix or near me words um, in their brand name. So in the past, I have been responsible partly for recommending um, that businesses add um, near me, especially local businesses, add near me um, to the brand name or um, to their product descriptions or, you know, to, 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 to their um, GMB, um, even, if, even if the brand name did not have um, near me in them, I would ask that they add um, near me to um, their, their, their brand name when they're, when they're uh, registering their GMB. Um, and, and, and I've added it to clients' GMBs. But as it turns out, um, Google is no longer um, ranking those GMBs. Um, I, I did a bit of research as of late, and it turns out that Google isn't ranking, um, is, is, isn't ranking for um, you know, dentists near me, if you have dentists near me in your brand name. Um, it isn't ranking for sushi near me, if, sushi, if near me is in your brand name. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, rankings have dropped. Um, so in the past, when I've done these kind of searches, it has turned up um, uh, businesses with near me in their brand names or in their names, especially in their GMBs. Um, but now that is not working. Google has um, climbed down on that. Um, and, and some people are even telling me that their, their GMBs were, 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 were disabled or taken down or whatever. Bear in mind that um, now this is not something I've been recommending for the past uh, year or so. Uh, this is during the early days of, of, of the GMB. Um, when GMBs had, you know, when we were first optimizing for GMBs. Um, but I've not been recommending this for a while, and I think a lot of the good um, SEOs have not been um, recommending this for a while. Now, other than that, if you're optimizing your uh, your listing for near me, um, I mean that's that, that's that's good enough. I have a video that uh, it walks you through optimizing your GMB. That's coming up. I've been in the process of making the video. Um, if you've been, if you've come this far, please feel free to like and subscribe to the video because I have lots of more stuff coming up. One of which is which, uh, how to create uh, an optimized GMB and the best practices for doing it. Um, so the near me uh, search optimization has grown, uh, you know, f around 400 percent um, year on year, year on year, uh, which means that now there are more people. Um, searching uh, using the near me words, so they'll search for sushi near me, uh, locksmiths near me, um, you know, dog uh, trainers near me. Uh, a lot of local businesses will are now going to get 400% more traffic um, from near me searches. But it shouldn't be in your brand name. Instead, you should be it, it should be weaved within the content of your um, GMB. And if you're also optimizing for near me. You would want to optimize for around here, nearby, close by, um, close to me, and local. So make sure that you're opt optimizing for um, these keywords. Now, most SEOs already know this, um, especially the good guys. So they would, when they're optimizing your GMB, they would add these keywords in for lo for a local business. Um, but if you're doing your own GMB and if you're optimizing your own GMB, um, you know, just you know, optimize for these keywords as well. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that um, Google may um, also come after um, GMBs that have near me or any of these keywords in them uh, in, in the descriptions, uh, in, in the business descriptions. Um, but you know, I, I, I'm, I've not, I've not heard it. I've, I've not heard from Google, and I've not heard from any SEO experts. Uh, that this is something that they will climb down on. And even if they do, um, these keywords are uh, very easy to remove. Um, now, what Google is doing when it's ranking for near me keywords, is it taking, is it, 
it's taking the person's proximity um, to the business business's location and ranking those businesses. So I've seen businesses that do not have near me even in their even even in their GMB descriptions. Um, I mean, it, it's not there. They don't have GM. They don't have near me at all. It's just that they're near the person, and this is part of Google's uh, effort to improve the experience for for the person searching. So, um, business proximity is now, you know, non-business pro- proximity is going to matter a lot more um, than having near me. Um, so that is now using the near me and using similar keywords are now pretty much irrelevant. But I would ask that you still add those keywords to your GMB because I'm still seeing in some niches that those businesses are uh, ranking. Now, I I spoke to a guy and I read an article online someplace and they said that me optimization could be detrimental um, to businesses, uh, which I don't think is it's going to be the case. Um, If you have it in your brand name, then yes, it could be. But um, if if you've just optimized your GMB, uh, for the keyword, that's that's not going to be the case. Um, the the other thing I, I needed to address was uh, when you're creating a GMB, um, make sure that you do it correctly right off the get go, so you do not have to, um, you know, work on you know, optimizing it. Um, and so GMB is live and it's online, uh, and you know Google has verified the GMB. You can then go ahead and start you know, doing some off-page optimization to rank that GMB, and I'll have a video for that as well. So if, if, you've, if you've come this far, um, and you know, if this has added value to your life, and this has improved the way you do SEO, please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.